So I have a reading to share with you all. And this reading is definitely specific to me, but uh, I also believe it to be a message for the collective. Um, I'm going to do my best at interpreting these cards here. Let's see if I can paint a, paint a picture that communicates the truth and the message that's trying to come through here. Start with the Magus, Mercury, the Communicator, the Magician. He holds the aces of all the elements, earth, air, water, and fire. and uses these to communicate with clarity and divine timing. Three of Discs is asking us to strengthen our commitments and to be clear about what we're committing our energy to. Four of Discs has all of the elements, earth, air, water, and fire. Through our clarity of knowing who we are, desire and what we're intending, we can use our communication to get real with ourselves and with others on what it is that we're trying to create. And that's where our true power comes from, when we're in alignment. And we're going through a bit of a tower energy. to release and let go of false stories and attachments, to heal, regenerate, renew, and build a foundation upon the ashes of what we've burned in pursuit and support of our highest dreams and visions. Nine of Wands speaks to having the strength in our intuition and our magic desires to strive forward and to use our vision clear vision the, the blade inverted represents the rooting of the powers of heaven into the earth. It sits above the tower, which I think speaks of cutting out old attachments that are no longer serving us and are not in alignment with our highest good. And through that work, we're able to further anchor the heavenly energies onto this planet. The Earth Keeper. We're all stewards of this planet.
and we need to consider the health of ourselves, what we're feeding ourselves, what we're consuming mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And making sure that those things are in alignment with our health, our greater good, and the health of the planet. Supporting others, the plants and the animals. It's not about us. It's about the all. The Son, the Heavenly Father, the spiritual essence. I'm going to just take a look at the book really quick for this, because I feel like there's something else that wants to come through I'm not picking up on. Ah, yes. Uh, with the passing of the winter solstice and the increase, increasing amount of daylight as the sun makes its way back north, it's time to come out of hibernation and that inward state that we've been going through. of reflection. It's time to realize those parts of ourselves that we want to bring into the world and start to play with that and bring it into the light. And in doing so, we honor our magic. We know that anything is possible And in following our divine guidance, in co-creation, we are truly capable of manifesting anything within our heart's de desires. Follow the signs and the synchronicities. Let your intuition guide you. And that will give you the strength to truly work magic and bring heaven down to earth as we embody ourselves as the earth keepers. I hope this resonated with you all. Um, this might be the first tarot reading video I post. I'm not super thorough and clear on my interpretations of the cards, but I'm getting there. Um, and there's definitely more I could have said, um, but I think I got the main message across. Um, so if this reading resonated with you, leave me um, a comment and I would be happy to hear that. Peace and love. Thank you, everyone.